Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down The Roast by Robert Glasper. Sounds just like this. Alright, before we start off, quick disclaimer, what I'm going to teach you today is a simplified and easy to learn version of the song. I'm not going to teach you note for note what Robert Glasper is playing, but I'm going to give you something more digestible. Alright, we start off by the intro, we're in the key of E major, and the intro, just like the verse, is composed by three different chords. The first one for the intro is C sharp minor 9. I have octave C sharp on my left hand, E, G sharp, B, and D sharp for my right. Then I have A major 7, right? On my left hand, I'm playing E, G sharp, and A. Right hand plays C sharp, E, and then G sharp again. So that's A major 7. The third chord is F sharp minor 9. C sharp E, F sharp and A for my left hand, so that's four notes. And my right hand will play C sharp and G sharp, so the ninth on top. So we're only going to use those chords for the intro. C sharp minor 9, A major 7, and finally, F sharp minor 9. Now for the details of the song, we start off by playing our first chord, so C sharp minor 9, five times, using this rolling effect from bottom to top on our right hand. So we're going to play one note after the other, E, G sharp, B, and D sharp, like this. All right, so from bottom to top, just roll the chord like this. And then add your left hand, and we're going to do this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to replay our chord on our right hand. So E, G sharp, B, and D sharp. And then we're going to play C sharp, E, and D. Before landing on A major 7. Right, so C sharp minor five times. Rest there, then we play your right hand chord. C sharp E and B. And then play A major seven. You're going to rest on A major seven for a while. Then we play C sharp E and B. And go back to C sharp minor nine. And then we're going to repeat the same movement, so we're going to replay our right hand chord. 
play C sharp E and B, land on A major 7, and then shortly after that we're going to play F sharp minor 9. And before playing that F sharp minor, I'm going to play E and F sharp. And then land on F sharp minor 9. Right, so let me replay you the last part. And that's basically everything we're going to play for this intro. Now let's recap from the top. We have 5 times C sharp minor 9. Then we're going to replay a right hand chord once. Play C sharp E and B. Then land on A major 7. Rest there. Then we play C sharp E and B to go to C sharp minor 9 again. Alright, so far so good. We play our right hand chord, C sharp E and B, back to A major 7, and then shortly after that, E, F sharp, and finally, F sharp minor 9. Let's replay that counting with the metronome. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, Alright, now if you're ready, let's do this at full speed. Three, four. Coming next, we have the first verse, and here the playing pattern is that we're going to play chords voicings on our left hand, and we're going to play the melody on our right hand. Just like the intro and pretty much like the rest of the song, we're going to play three different chords for the verse. We have C sharp minor 9. So that's a rootless voicing. I'm going to play G sharp, B, D sharp, and then E for my left hand. Next, I have A major 7, that's E, G sharp, A, and C sharp. And finally, we have F sharp minor, minor 7 or minor 9. Here for my left hand, I'm only playing the minor 7th. I have C sharp, E, F sharp, and A. Alright, so that's the three chords we're going to use. C sharp minor 9. A major 7 and then F sharp minor. And also alongside playing the melody line on your right hand, you can improvise on your left hand by playing the notes in your chord. Right? Like this. 3, 4. So it's totally up to you to add some notes to fill up the spaces we might have during the song. And we're going to play those chords on the first beat of every measure. Now for the melody part, we first have this section. So here I played 1B, using my second finger, 
Then I play the grace note from C sharp to D sharp using my third and fourth finger. And doing so, that's when I played my first chord, so C sharp minor 9. Then I play this on my right hand. So I have this back and forth between G sharp and B. I have my thumb on G sharp and my second finger on B. Alright, so play G sharp, B, then back to G sharp. After this back and forth, you have another grace note. From C sharp to D sharp. Right after you played your grace note, you're going to replay the note on top, so D sharp. And also remember to play your left hand chord on every first beat of the measure. Then we have this. So we started off by playing another back and forth between G sharp and B, but I first played a double G sharp on my thumb, then B, back to G sharp, then a grace note from C sharp to D sharp, C sharp, B, and then I played G sharp on my thumb and added A major 7 on my left hand. time. So from the top so far you have this. Then we have our next section. After I played my A major 7, I played a back and forth between G sharp and B. Then a grace note from C sharp to D sharp. And then played C sharp. Alright, then I play this. So, I have G sharp, B, C sharp, then a grace note from C sharp to D sharp again, C sharp, B, and land on G sharp playing C sharp minor 9. Then continuing on C sharp minor 9, I'm going to play G sharp, B, C sharp, and then here I'm going to play a double grace note from C sharp to D sharp. And play C sharp and B. One more time. Then we have this descending melody line. So here I'm playing F sharp on my third finger, going up on G sharp, going back down on F sharp, and then I'm going to play E with my thumb. So here I'm descending the E major scale. Then I'm going to play D sharp with my fourth finger. C sharp with my third and finally B with my second. And on B, I'm going to play my A major seventh chord. 
Alright, so now we're on the first beat of the measure. Three, four. A little bit slower. And then here we're finally going to land on F sharp minor 9. So I played G sharp, B, C sharp, and then I played a grace note again from C sharp to D sharp, and this time I doubled the grace note by playing F sharp down with my thumb. Then I played C sharp again, doubled with F sharp. Right after that, I'm going to add this F sharp minus 7 on my left hand. And then here I'm going to slide my thumb down and play E. And on the same time, I'm going to play G sharp with my second finger. create F sharp minor 9. Let's quickly replay that from the descending melody line on A major 7. Now you should be able to play the whole verse. So as a recap, I'm going to replay the first verse slow and then replay it at full speed. Three, four. Coming next, we have the pre-chorus, and here we're going to use some new chords for this part. We have A major 7. So just as we've seen before, E, G sharp, A, and C sharp, just for the left hand. Then B major here, that's F sharp, B, and D sharp. So that's not a particular voicing, that's just B major. On its second inversion. Then C sharp minor 7, C sharp, G sharp, and B. And for the next chord, we're going to use both of our hands here. We're going to play C sharp 9 with a flat 13. So that's F, B, and D sharp on my left hand, F, A, the flat 13th and C sharp on my right. And that will be our passing code to go to F sharp minor 9, F sharp, G sharp, and A, C sharp, and G sharp. And then finally, we have G sharp minor 7, simply on our left hand, that's F sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp again.
Great, we can now focus on the melody line for the pre-chorus. We're going to break down this section first. Right here, I'm starting by playing a grace note from F sharp to G sharp using my third and fourth finger. Then I'm going to go down, play F sharp, E, and then back to F sharp. And doing so, I'm going to play my A major 7 chord on my left hand. Next, on my right hand, I'm going to play G sharp, back to F sharp, and then a really quick D sharp and B. I'm playing my B chord on my left hand, and on my right hand, I have F sharp and D sharp with a grace note from C sharp to D sharp. After my B major chord, I'm going to stretch my hand out and play octave F sharp. I right, so thumb and pinky on two F sharps and I'm going to play them twice. And then after that, I'm going to play my C sharp minor seven chord on my left hand. Then I'm going to replay F sharp and G sharp also twice. Then I have this short melody line. I'm playing C sharp. Then a quick F sharp before B. All right, like this. Then a quick F sharp again before G sharp. Still playing C sharp minus seven on my left hand. All right, let's repeat this first section. Great, coming after that, we have this movement. So just like the first section, we start off by playing A major seven. With this melody line, so a grace note from F sharp to G sharp, F sharp, E, and then back to F sharp. But here we're going to play this F sharp with our pinky. And just like the first section, we're going to play A major 7 on our left hand when playing F sharp. Then I'm going to play double E with my fourth finger here. And then very, very quickly, I'm going to use this rolling effect again. And this time from top to bottom on D sharp, B, and F sharp. Then I have my C sharp 9 with the flat 13, and again that's a woodless voicing. 
Alright, so that's my passing code to go to F sharp minor 9. And before that, I'm going to play B with my pinky, then A, and then land on F sharp minor 9. Alright, so F sharp, G sharp, A, C sharp, and G sharp. So I'm using my thumb, my second finger, and my fourth finger on F, A, and C sharp here. Then my pinky go down on B. And then I play my F sharp minor 9. And to end this pre-chorus, I have this. That's F sharp on my right hand. Then D sharp. Play it with my fourth finger. And then I have this. That's B, C sharp, D sharp, back to C sharp. Right after I played C sharp, I'm going to play an arpeggio on my left hand, so I'm going to play each note one after the other, from bottom to top. So I'm going to play F sharp, B, D sharp, and then F sharp again. Then on my right hand, I'm going to be playing So that's F sharp, B, and D sharp. Then I'm going to replay B and C sharp. Then I'm going to replay F sharp. And right after that, we play my G sharp minor 7 chord on my left hand. And then play D sharp. B, C sharp, and then we play C sharp. So from the top, the movement on G sharp minus 7 sounds like this. One more time. Alright, now we're ready to recap. Just like the other parts, I'm going to play it one time slow and then the other one at full speed. One more time at full speed. Alright, now we're getting on the first chorus, and here for the left hand, for the chords we're going to use on the left hand, will be the same from the first verse. Alright, so C sharp minor 9, A major 7, and F sharp minor 7. So we'll first break down this section.
Right, so here on my first C sharp minor 9, I'm going to play this. D sharp, E, F sharp, and G sharp. I'm doing this starting D sharp on my second finger. So I'm going to repeat those four notes four times on C sharp minor 9. And then I'm going to play a grace note here. So I played C sharp, one C sharp, and then a double grace note from C sharp to D sharp. Alright, so here I'm using my third finger and fourth finger. Then I played C sharp and B. And after the double grace note, I'm going to play this A major 7 on my left hand. One more time. So I'm going to play C sharp and double B after my double grace note. Then a little while after that, I have this movement on my right hand. So that's basically a grace note from F sharp to G sharp using my second and third finger. And I'm going to double F sharp with B using my pinky. One more time. And then I'm going to repeat the movement. I'm going to play D sharp, E, F sharp, and G sharp four times. But as you noticed here on the first time, I added C sharp to E and D sharp to G sharp. So on the first time here, you're going to play like this on C sharp minor 9. Alright, so only on the first time. And then you have your A major 7 chord with the same melody line. And then here you're going to land on F sharp minor 9. So you're going to play one quick B before playing C sharp, E, F sharp and A on your left hand, E and G sharp on your right. And then play A with your fourth finger and play G sharp and B with your third and fifth finger. And that will be the end of the first chorus. So let's replay it. Once again at full speed. Okay, if you got this far, you should be able to play the intro, the first verse, 
pre-chorus and chorus. So what I'm going to do right now is we play the whole thing from the top, so from the intro, to give you some more clarity on the big picture. All right, so let's do this. And that will be it for this first part. If you want to learn the rest of the song, you can head over to musicwitness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another YouTube.